And to accomplish anything great, it's going to require obsession. I think Jordan wasn't obsessed with basketball. Jordan's obsessed with winning and not just winning, dominating. Think about Tiger Woods, LeBron, Brady. Think about all these athletes. Think about these massive tycoons in business. You tell me they weren't obsessed with their craft? Damn right they were obsessed because that's what it takes to do something special. That's what it takes to get outside of the norm. Too many of y'all are obsessed with what's going on Friday night. Too obsessed with where's everybody going out to. Too obsessed with that relationship relationship that isn't good for you. You're obsessed with drugs, booze, whatever. And that gets all your energy because that's what you're you're obsessed with. So you might say one day I'm gonna. No, you're not. You're not gonna do anything until you become obsessed with it, until you have to have it, until you need it like you need to breathe. You have to be obsessed. I'm Josh Wilson. You got my son Logan here with me. What's going on, son? What's up? Not How much. are things in Virginia? Good. Hold it That's down. Good. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. You know, it's funny out here in Texas for a couple of days for meetings with Katie. And so we're doing these remote podcasts. It's kind of fun. It's weird not being in the studio with you. Sounds a little different. Feels a little different. Camera shots are a little bit different, but it's still cool getting used to it. But it's always more fun in the studio with you, just so you know. Yeah. Agreed. So, you know, one of the things I was talking with our team about earlier today, and I thought would actually be a good topic for for this is I get contacted all the time. And this is literally what my, my post was to my team. You know, hey, Josh, do you got time for a meeting? Can I schedule a time to meet with you? And so... <laughs> I'm like, sure. Yeah, here's the link. They schedule a time. And the thing that's wild is it always goes something like this. I want more of something. I want something. I want access. I want to lead. I want more money. I want, you know, to have a location. I want to be a head trainer. I want, et cetera. I want, I want, I want. And my message was, I hear I want all the time, but it's never followed by, I want to work my face off. I want to, you know, go all in. I want to sacrifice. I want to be so committed to my craft and becoming excellent that I'm the best I can possibly be at whatever it is, you know, I do my craft, your trade, whatever. In this case, you know, a dog trainer or a leader or a human being. It's never I want that. It's always I want money. I want to lead. I want to own my own location. I want something like that. But it's not like I want to grow into the person that not, well, yeah, hell, deserves it. It's not, I want to learn how to develop my leadership skills so that one day I can run a location or open multiple locations. It's never that. It's always, I want, and it's these small little things. And the difference between I want and I will are very, very different. And I think obsession comes into play. And what I said is like, I'm tired of hearing I want. I want to hear you're obsessed. You know, obsession in a healthy way is what gets you to the good stuff. You know, one of our partners, you know, Katie Smith, you guys, she's been on the show before. You know, she's tremendous. She's, I'm not going to put all her business out here, but she's grown so much over the years and I'm so damn proud of her. And today she puts just as much energy into her craft into the dogs, into her team today, as she did five years ago when she was just getting started. Honestly, I'd probably say she's doing more. And this is a woman who's built her business tremendously over the years and has gone on to scale and expand and, and hire in different regions and teach. It's just incredible. But she's obsessed. She's obsessed. She was willing to go all in. She was willing to say, hey, Josh, show me the way. Guide me. I want to do this with you. What do I need to do to be able to accomplish X? Because accomplishing X, Y, and Z professionally will allow her to accomplish A through Z personally for her dreams and goals. And that's where people miss out on. Everybody knows what they want the end to look like. Everybody knows or they think they know what they want the end to look like. They know what they want to have in hand. Maybe it's tangible. It's like, man, if I could just make enough, I could get that car. If I could just make enough, I can buy that house. If I could just make enough, I'd wear these clothes. If I could, and typically it's like these tangible, like get your hands on type stuff. They want the crap. But they don't want what it takes to get it, really. They just want it. But there's no obsession. And to accomplish anything great, it's going to require obsession. Think Jordan wasn't obsessed with basketball? Jordan's obsessed with winning. And not just winning, dominating. 
dominating. Think about Tiger Woods. Think about LeBron. Think about Brady. Think about all these athletes. Think about these massive tycoons in business. You tell me they weren't obsessed with their craft. Damn right they were obsessed because that's what it takes to do something special. That's what it takes to get outside of the norm. Too many of y'all are obsessed with what's going on Friday night. Too obsessed with where's everybody going out to. Too obsessed with that relationship that isn't good for you. You're obsessed with drugs, booze, whatever. And that gets all your energy because that's what you're, you're obsessed with. So you might say... One day I'm gonna. No, you're not. You're not gonna do anything until you become obsessed with it, until you have to have it, until you need it like you need to breathe. You have to be obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with my business. I'm obsessed in so many areas. I'm obsessed with my wife. I'm probably OCD out the wazoo, honestly. <laughs> is that Logan? Is OCD obsessive compulsive disorder? Is that what that is? No? Or you don't know? OCD is like. When you're like obsessed with things being organized, I think, but uh, maybe in my office, not at home, not at home at the office for sure. Like I'm, I'm obsessed with my kids. I want to know what's going on with them. I want to know what they're into. Like it gets every part of me because I'm obsessed with it. When you're obsessed with it, you don't get freaked out by the hard stuff. When you're obsessed with it, you fight on when the challenges present themselves. When you're obsessed with it, you don't allow yourself to be distracted by tiny little things. And this is you can tell someone's serious or not. Like obsession can become bad. It can definitely become bad. What is it that you're obsessing over? And for me, you know, when I think about obsession, the little stuff doesn't matter. And so you tell me I'm going to achieve this by summer. This year in my business, we're going to grow X amount. My relationship, we're going to do this. We're going to go on this many date nights. We're going to take this many vacations. But then your business isn't hitting its metrics. You're not taking the date nights. You're not spending the time you say with your kids. You're not investing in other relationships that you say are important to you. You're not excelling at your job. But you know all the gossip of what's going on. You know all the drama of what's going on. You know every sports stat there is to know. You know everything they're talking about on CNN and Fox News and MSNBC and all this other BS. But you can't talk about for more than five minutes what's actually going on in your business or your life personally or professionally. You're not obsessed with winning. You're not obsessed with growth. You're not obsessed with change. You're obsessed with bullshit stuff. And that comes back to you. Everybody wants the quote unquote prize at the end, but only the ones who are obsessed are the ones that are ever going to get it and have a chance at it. So what are you obsessing over? And whatever you're obsessing over, is it for you? Like, does it, does it help you grow? Does it help you develop? Does it help you move forward towards your goals? Or are you obsessing over something that's holding you back? Are you, are you obsessing over something that happened years ago and has zero impact on your life today? Well, it still has impact on your life today, but it only has impact on your life today because you refuse to release it. So you still give it weight. Are you obsessing over relationships with people that would rather see you stagnant or fail and go backwards than cheer for you as you move forward and grow? Even if that means at the expense of their proximity to you and their relationship to you, what are you obsessing over? Because everybody does it. Everybody obsesses over something or what you obsessing over. Does it serve you? Does it serve you or does it hinder you? I want to obsess over things that serve me. Does it mean I always do? No, absolutely not. Not perfect. Not perfect. But my primary obsessions serve me and serve me well and they serve others. So people come to me, Josh, I want this. I want that. You're not even, you're, you're doing a good job where you currently are, but you're not even excelling at where you currently are because you treat it like it's a hobby. You don't treat it like it's your life's mission. Well, Josh, I just work for this guy and I clock in and I clock out, go home. I got this going on and that going on. Okay. So maybe that job isn't your life's mission, but what are you doing when you're not there to help you get focused on your life's mission? I doubt it's in Netflix. I doubt it's inside the Xbox. So what are you doing? What's the obsession? The time that you do have, there's a lot of time every single day to do a lot of things. It's that obsession that serves you. So I challenge my team. Stop telling me what you want. Stop talking about it. Show me that you're obsessed with it. Show me that you're obsessed with winning. Show me that you're obsessed with being the best at what you do. Show me you're obsessed with creating the best experience for your clients and customers. Show me you're obsessed with becoming the best version of yourself. Show me you're obsessed with living by our values. For a lot of us, it's time to stop talking about what you want and what you're going to do and show those that need to see it that you're serious about it. You're obsessed. You're willing to sacrifice. You're willing to take on something that costs nothing but costs everything at the same time because you understand that's what it's going to take to really achieve what your goals are and what your desires are. 
are you obsessed? Most people aren't. Most people aren't going to get there. Most people aren't going to do the things they say they are going to do. Most people aren't going to get the experiences they say they're going to experience. Most people are not going to create a life and lifestyle or the legacy that they want or that they say they want for their families. Not going to. They're not obsessed with it. It's just a pretty story to tell. And it sounds good. It might get a click or two. Someone says, I believe in you. You can do it. But on the inside, you don't believe in yourself because you know it's just bullshit. You know you're just spouting words. Are you obsessed? Do you look crazy in the eyes because you're so focused and dialed in and obsessed? People say to me all the time, and you look pissed off. You look angry. Dude, are you okay? Look tired. Are you zoned out? Not zoned out. I'm zoned in. I'm dialed in. I'm locked in. Be in a group of people and I will look completely spaced out. But that's because I'm locked in on what's on my mind and where I'm going and what I'm trying to do. Now, that doesn't mean that it's always smooth and every decision's easy. Everything plays out exactly how I need and want it to. But I'm focused so I don't freak out when it doesn't. Because I'm focusing on the problem now. Problem that is a moment in the journey towards what my goals are. The problem doesn't take over everything. The problem has to get addressed. It's just part of the path. I'm too obsessed with the end result to get hung up by a little roadblock along the way. Everybody wants what's at the end. I'd almost say you got to be more obsessed with the process than you do the end result. You're obsessed with both. Awesome. You see a lot of people who are high performing, highly successful. A lot of times you're like, man, they are at a whole nother level. And next thing you know, they're at another level. A couple of years later, they're at a whole nother level. And you're like, what the hell is going on? These are people who are obsessed, y'all. They're obsessed. They don't necessarily need or seek more money. Maybe it's impact. Maybe it is influence, clout, just the desire to build. But it's like one thing after another. You're like, holy crap. It's like they keep unlocking levels to a game. You're like, how is that happening? Because we can only be driven towards what we believe is a reality. And if what you're obsessed on, you finally achieve very few people actually find comfort and rest at that point. You're like, okay, now, now what can we do? Now what we can, can we accomplish? Obsessed. I hope you're obsessed with something. I hope whatever you're obsessed with serves you. If it doesn't serve you, find yourself something new to obsess over. Stop going to people that lead you and telling them what you're going to do. Stop going to them and saying, I want, I want, I want, I want. Maybe start going in and saying, show me the playbook. I want to learn. I need to learn. I want to grow as a person, as a leader. I want to develop into the person I need to be to achieve X, Y, and Z because I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to achieve X. I'm obsessed with that outcome. Help me develop into that person. These are very different conversations and they're conversations that are going to get the attention of the people that lead you in your workplace, in your businesses. If you are the leader in your business, why not start paying attention to teaching your team how to approach their tasks, how to approach their problems, how to approach their growth desires, personally and professionally within your business in that way. I'm obsessed with becoming the person you need to become. I know for me, the, the goals that I have for myself and my family, I'm not that person yet. I'm not that person yet. If I was that person, it would already be accomplished. I have some character traits. I'm lacking so much. I'm not ready. I'm obsessed with getting ready. I continue to develop. Not ready for what I want yet. I'm ready for the place I'm at now. That's why I'm here. I was equipped to get me here. I'm not equipped to get me where I think I'm going. And I don't think that's the end. I don't think that's the end result either. I'm very much aware that I get to what I leave truly I'm working towards. There's going to be my eyes open to, to different situations and scenarios. All right. What do I need to do to become that person? Get obsessed. Obsessed. See how your outcomes start changing. Your outputs start changing. Your inputs actually changing. You're attacking it from an obsessed standpoint, how to get the box and get out standpoint. Then you, you're the one who has to fire it up. You're the one who has to truly get manic about it. Focus. Nobody can do that for you. See you next time. The Big Dog Podcast. Thanks. Thanks.